All right, we're still on day two, and we're working on the two brass locomotives. We're paint stripping. Now, as you know, I've got an ultrasonic cleaner, and I can strip the paint on these in just a few minutes by doing that. But I changed the fluid in it, and I want to use the fluid for cleaning parts, not paint stripping. When you paint strip in your ultrasonic, uh, your, your fluid gets full of paint. So I'm going to strip as much of the paint off these two as I can before I put them in the ultrasonic. So I've got some hardware store premium stripper. No, I do not use, even though I have it, all that citrus stripper and crap. That's not how I do it. I don't use that stuff. I mean, it works fine, but I'm using the real stuff. Okay. So, as you can see here. Now, I have... I have stripped... Part, partially, this GP20. I've, I've soaked these guys in the alcohol bath for a while. And... It is for sure enamel paint on here because when I went to clean it, I know the smell of of enamel when I use the uh, air compressor. And so this stuff is doing really good. Okay. We're really getting... Now, there's some pad printing here. See that? Oh, yeah. These uh, stripes on here were printed, printed with some kind of a pad printer. And I don't want to scratch all the brass here, so I have to buff it out later. But uh, that that's an extra layer that doesn't want to come up right. <clears throat> so, what I've got here is also the SD24. And I have not started this one. So I'm just going to take my, my clean strip. This is the uh, hazardous stuff. The stuff that uh, that, that actually really works good. You can swear by citrus stripper all you want, but I'm using the clean strip. I just am. Because, for sure, this stuff will do the trick. Okay. So let's go ahead and just lob it on here. Whoops, I got some over here. All right, let's uh, give it some globs. Is that supposed to take 15 minutes? This has not been 15 minutes yet. Not done 15 minutes on this, but it's already coming up. And before I, I am going to ultrasonic clean these for sure because it polishes brass. But I want to get the paint off here. I don't want it clogging up my ultrasonic right now while I'm trying to clean parts. Um, let's get off as much paint as we can before we go result. Before we resolve. To put it in the ultrasonic, which for sure will take all this paint off in a second. But then I'm going to have to clean the ultrasonic again. And I just cleaned it so that we could clean all these parts. Thank God this thing ain't full. Because then I just uh, knocked it over. And actually, I, for some reason, I didn't screw the cap on tight. It ain't supposed to be this... Uh, it's not supposed to be quite this um, viscous. It's very viscous. I mean, this is like my God, this is like painting on Vaseline. But it, it, it is definitely still works. So I'm gonna paint that on. No, I don't care about the number boards. You know that I make new. I make all my number boards. I mean, this is a contest piece. So. These number boards are on here are not going to cut it. And, yeah, and I'll tell you what. Do not touch this with your fingers. Because it does burn quite a bit. It's probably super hazardous. Who knows? Probably not. Well, it can't be that hazardous because you can buy it at the hardware store. So I got it at Ace. It's like 7 or 8 bucks. And we're going to try to get rid of all of the paint we can on the brass models. Now, we can't do this on plastic. This does not work. This is a no-go on plastic models. All right, on brass. Yeah, 
No, this stuff works. This stuff for brass, for plastic, no. This is a total no-go. Even the citrus cleaner, which I have, I do not use that on brass. I use Mean Green in my ultrasonic cleaner for anything that does not come off with the 91% uh, alcohol. So if it's acrylic of any kind, generally, the 91% alcohol tub that I have, poured a couple bottles into a, into a uh, tub, and I, I, I can put like two locomotives and their underframes in there, no problem, and leave them sit. I also have one for scale coat wash. I'm never buying that again. It was 20 bucks. It is not as good as they say. I just, I have not had, and it's supposed to be reusable and everything. It's just not that good. It's not good enough. It does not beat Mean Green that comes from the lump. Mean Green is the generic simple green. And Mean Green in the ultrasonic cleaner takes care of business. And we don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. But now. As you can see here, I'm going to show you. Check this out. So, it says it takes 15 minutes. And we haven't given it 15 minutes yet, but as you can see already, uh, yeah, it's enamel. For sure it's enamel. I don't care what anybody says. That is for sure enamel. How do I know that? I know it by the smell. I can smell it. I know what enamel is. I used to paint all my stuff in enamel. And I had to uh, one day break down and I had to go to acrylic and I had to learn it. And I'm glad I did. Because that's the way I'm going, for, going from now on. But that right there, boys and girls, is the stuff. Yes. See, see that? 15 minutes and that's going to clean strip. It's going to take care, care of business for us. And that's going to strip those two brass locomotives. That puts us, I've already cleaned all the parts and stuff. So we're on day two of 30 days of rebuilding these. We got to get on it. We expect to uh, be competitive in the contest. We got to get on this. And that's where we're at. All right, there will be an up, another update coming in a bit.